Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to Nish, a genetic survival game. So a few days ago, the developers came out with the 0.5 update, which brings a whole bunch of new and exciting things to the game, like larger islands for us to explore, and even some different mutations for us to find as well. But unfortunately, it rendered all of our old save files incompatible with the game. As you can see from this big banner across our current save file at the moment, I can't even click on it. I can't get back in there with poor little Animeme and the blind baby and all of those creatures that we've come to know and love. So I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit gutted when I realized that we wouldn't be able to see the conclusion of our first pack because it seems like we're going to have to start a completely new game to continue on with the series. That is kind of the risk of playing a game that's so early in development because you don't know what's going to happen, but it hasn't diminished my love for Nish. I still absolutely adore this game, and there's so many new things that we can take a look at now, so I think this is going to be a lot of fun. In fact, from now on, I'm going to try to bring this game to you guys twice a week on the channel instead of just once, because judging by the giveaway that we had in the last episode, which you still have two days left to enter, it's still going on, you guys are just as enthusiastic about this game as I am, and it is so fun to see how many of you are interested in this game. Just to put it in perspective for you guys, as of the moment that I am recording this, we have had a total of 167 entries for the five Steam codes that I have to give away. So it has been crazy, you guys. It has been absolutely amazing to read through all of your comments and see all of the things that you guys are really enjoying about the game so far. But I think I have rambled on enough about this, so we might as well just go ahead and start a new game. For this pack, I think what I would like to do is name it after Animeme, because I noticed that a lot of you guys really liked Animeme. She was probably the favorite of most of you watching our series, so we're going to go ahead and name the pack after Animeme this time. And uh, it always sounds a little bit silly for a pack name, but hopefully that means that she'll be watching over us as we continue on with our second family, and maybe she'll give us a little sprinkle of good luck too. So let's see what we end up with, guys. Hopefully it's going to be a, a good start this time. Hopefully we'll be able to find all the food that we need and we won't get uh, wiped out by carnivores right away. Let's see. Oh my goodness, and we get to play with Adam and Eve again. Oh my gosh, that's going to be wonderful. So here's our new world, guys. Whoa! Oh my goodness, look how huge it is. Whoa! Okay, so this has got to be like double the size of the previous island that we were playing on. And look at all of that water too. Like half of it is even underwater. I wonder if that has something to do with the aquatic genes that they were talking about um, adding on later in the game. That would be interesting. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so cool. So we're actually starting in what looks to be kind of like a savanna area as well. We have some grasslands over here. We have some savanna over here. The swamp is way up here. So it doesn't look like we have to worry about that just yet because it is easier to get sick when you're in the swamp. But oh my gosh, this is actually really exciting, guys. Okay, so Adam and Eve again. I'm sure they're probably exactly the same as they were before, but kind of like the magic of this game is how even though we're starting with the same characters, everything from here on out is going to be completely different from the first game that we played through because it all depends what sort of creatures we find along the way or what sort of babies they have, what sort of randomly generated babies they end up having here. And in fact, we will get started on that right now and uh, go ahead and peek in some of this grass as well. Um, you can stay right there, Eve, so you can have your baby in the next turn, and let's see what they end up looking like. Oh my gosh, and we have rain this time too! That is so cool! So we're actually getting uh, some rain early on, which is excellent. And here is our first daughter of the pack. Mesri, I believe her name is. That is adorable. Okay, so it looks like she has, oh gosh, the no paw. We're getting the no paw again. But she has poison fangs in her recessive genes, so hopefully we can work on keeping that in the line this time, because like I said in the last episode, I really love those big fangs that they have. They are adorable, and I would love to keep them as kind of like a dominant trait in the uh, family, but we'll see how that goes, I guess. One thing I do want to take a look at before we go any further is the mutation menu, because they did do a lot of uh, changes, a lot of tweaks to this. A lot of the different genes now require different uh, different challenges for you to unlock them. We still have this one right here, which is what we were working on before, exploring uh, 20 different savanna fields or 15 desert fields, and it looks like we're well on our way. As long as we continue exploring uh, this area, then we should unlock that pretty soon, and we'll get to see what that is, so that's going to be pretty neat. 
Um, there's a whole bunch of bodies here, and it looks like if we explore 10 swamp fields, we'll be able to unlock one too, so that's going to be pretty neat. I believe the different types of paws, like the claws and the berry paw, are also locked behind these different challenges now as well, so we definitely need to do a little bit of work on this. It's going to be quite interesting. Even the markings are uh, behind the challenges too. That's pretty neat. Okay, so to start things off, I think what we should probably do is pop these antlers in here. Um, let's put it on the 30% one because we want the antlers. They're going to make our pack much stronger than they currently are. Um, oh my goodness, and look at that too, we can put the eyes in there, the normal eyes, which would probably make it um, more likely that we would not have the blind babies, because we had a little bit of trouble with that in our last pack. Um, and I think I might put um, the big nose in there too, because it gives us a little bit of a smelling buff. So that would help us as we're exploring. Actually, Eve has the big nose on her right now. Um, Adam has a regular nose, I believe. Well, he has the poison fangs, so he doesn't have um, the big nose, but that's why hers is so much longer. And I know somebody said that it made her look like um, a little lioness, which is adorable, actually. And now we're in the savanna, so it's even more fitting. But let's have her pick up some of this food over here so we don't run out. We actually have quite a bit right now, which is excellent to see, but I do want to find more um, of those berry bushes as soon as we possibly can. So I'm not going to move too far away from Eve right now because I do want to make sure that they have a few more babies. Um, before they get too far away, before we do too much exploring, basically. I think Eve is probably going to stay around this nest and maybe explore more um, this way. <laughs> oh gosh, there's something rustling already. But she's going to explore the grasslands a little bit more so she could possibly find more berry bushes because they seem to be more likely to pop up in the grasslands at least. I know this one's on the savanna, which is quite awkward. I think it's probably because it's um, right next to our starting nest. But let's see what's in this grass over here. Um, Oh my gosh, the spit snout again, you guys. Oh my gosh, are we like guaranteed to get a spit snout for the first creature that we run across, honestly? Oh my gosh, that is so cool to see. I missed the spit snout so much. When our little spit snout sister died, I was so disappointed that they didn't pass that on to uh, any of their babies. But look at that, we have one again, and it's another girl. What is your name? Lassie, okay. And unfortunately, there's that no paw again. So I'm not sure if we want to breed her with Adam, because I would think it would be more likely for them to uh, pass along the no paw gene to any of their children. But she has blue eyes as a recessive trait, which is quite Quite interesting and I believe that's about it well ram horns for recessive trait as well which is also a, a pretty good thing to have because that means that that could pop up on one of her babies as well so let's move this guy out of the nest and we will breed again with Eve and Adam and uh, oh dear <laughs> I ran out of a turn there so we'll have to move her to the um, nest on the next one but you can help us explore a little bit in the meantime thank you very much and there we go that's the end of that turn so let's see. Let's see if anything else pops up in the meantime. It looks like we're okay. Um, we'll move Eve back to the nest so she can give birth in the next turn. And um, I hate to have the little baby like explore on her own, but I do want to see what's in this grass. Oh gosh, there's another one. Okay, so let's see what's over here. We'll bring Adam over here because he is much more powerful than anyone else at the moment. Um, oh, okay, this thing over here. Okay, this is actually quite important. Um, Dominic Kaur in the last episode actually let me know that these mounds of dirt are bunny hills. They are bunny burrows. So if we stick one of our creatures right on top, then we'll probably have a much better chance of catching those bunnies. So that's excellent to see that we have one so close to the nest because now we could possibly stock up on food even if the berry bushes are kind of like low, like they are right now. We only have one berry bush, which is a little bit concerning, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Um, we're down to nine pieces of food, so hopefully that won't become an issue. Um, let's see what her next baby is going to be, though. Oh, it's a little male. Okay, and they almost look like twins, too. That is adorable. Rhoda. Okay, and yep, he has the no paw, guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we definitely need to get some more paw genes in the family right now because we don't want to have that no paw issue. It would be great if we could find someone like Animeme with that giant, uh, that giant claw paw, I believe it was called. It looked like a bear claw, though. It was really, really neat. Um, let's pop you right here for now. So maybe you could do some hunting if you happen to see any little bunnies popping out of this burrow. And we'll explore the entire area over here. So just in case they pop up in any of uh, these places right here, then we should be able to grab them as soon as they do so. 
Um, I suppose you can move out of the nest for now because we really need to find more food, guys. This is getting definitely concerning here. Um, we'll explore this way and um, I'm going to skip ahead instead of moving this child away from the nest because I'm worried about that food. And uh, she can help us pick these berries anyway. So there we go. You can pick those berries so we have a little bit more um, to our turns here. And I see that grass back there. Oh gosh, guys. Um, it must be a bunny. I have a feeling the bunny kind of came out of this burrow over here and is just hopping around on the grass right now. Yep, it moved back, so it's got to be a bunny. Um, I guess we're going to use our last two turns on Adam here. Oh my gosh, I was really hoping that we wouldn't have another food situation on our hands like the last time we played. Hopefully it's going to rain. Oh my gosh, it actually did! Oh, and there's the bunny. <laughs> Look at that, you guys. Okay, so let's collect some berries with the babies first. Oh, but then it moves away. Okay, well, thankfully it didn't move too far. So we can just swipe that bunny with uh, this lovely lady right here and then collect the meat. The bunnies give us three pieces of food a pop, so that is excellent. And then we have this lovely berry bush to uh, gather up at as well. So we'll have the berry, the um, babies pick the berries rather. And then Adam, you can continue exploring this way until we find another bush. Oh my goodness, I'm not sure where they all are at the moment. Um, Eve, I guess you can go along with him. Oh, oh gosh, there's another abandoned nest too. That's interesting. Okay, typically when we find these, there's always like a carnivore just looming over them. So it's nice to see that this time it's actually abandoned. It's actually empty. Let's go ahead and grab some more berries with these guys though. Unfortunately, they're not really apt collectors. Um, they don't have the berry paws, so they're not able to collect more than one piece at a time. But at least it's given us something. We have four more turns with all of our food to uh, enjoy at the moment. Hopefully we'll get another bunny popping up over there too, so Lassie can uh, grab it. Ah, okay, and there's another bush. Okay. Okay, there we go. So we have a few more things for us to collect here. We'll bring uh, Eve right over here and we'll have her grab those because she can grab uh, more than one at a time. She has these runner legs, which give her one in collecting per leg. So she can collect uh, two berries at a time, which is excellent. And um, I'm going to leave you right there, actually, little one. You are going to stay right here and you are on bunny duty at the moment. Though it looks like she's getting quite old. She joined our pack as um, a much older female than Eve was, so that's interesting. I'm, I'm hoping she's not gonna like die right on top of that, um, that little burrow anytime soon. So let's see, that should be good. Um, we'll skip ahead and hopefully there's gonna be a bunny popping up around here. No, <laughs> I guess not. They kind of um, are a little bit afraid of this creature looming over their home at the moment, but we'll keep grabbing these berries. We have three turns now and there's something over here. So let's bring Adam over here to investigate because I don't want to bring Eve over there. She doesn't have the uh, strongest skills. Whoa! Oh my gosh, what are you? You're like stuck on the ground, little one. Do we have to save you? It's like she's stuck in the mud or something. Oh my gosh, and she has um, ram horns and beautiful green eyes. Oh, how pretty is that? She almost reminds me of Animeme, almost, because of those uh, ram horns, but she doesn't have the claw, and um, of course she doesn't have those beautiful panda patterns, but she does have it in her recessive genes, so that's quite interesting. And she has the berry paw, that is exactly what we want to see. Of course, um, she's not fully grown yet, she is only, I guess, like two little slots, she only has two gems on her chest, so she has to grow a little bit longer before we can possibly think about breeding her and bringing in her genes. Um, she does have the blind eyes, Got to keep an eye on that. So let's see, does Adam have the blind eyes trait? No, he does not. And how about his son? Um, he looks fine too. Okay, so we could possibly think about breeding her with our um, our little Rota over here, Adam's first son. So there we go. I think that's probably what we'll do. We'll uh, bring her over there in a little bit. I'm a little bit worried to do it right now because we have literally one turn left. <laughs> so I think we might wait on that. Um, in fact, I think I might skip the day and see if we can grab up some more berries in the morning. Oh, or a bunny. Don't mind if I do. Thank you very much. That'll help us. Okay, and then you guys can uh, continue grabbing those berries as usual. And now we have uh, five turns to use, so there we go. We will probably move you closer to the nest very, very shortly. But I do want to see if there's any more berry bushes close to us. <laughs> Something very close to us here. Um, let's see, how about Adam? You probably want to help explore this way. Um, only a rock over there. Oh, that's not very helpful. 
That's just blocking our way right now, actually. Um, we'll look at this area with Eve, and then we have to skip ahead yet again because um, we're all out of turns right now. Okay, there we go. So these two are now fully grown, which is excellent to see. We'll grab, gather up um, some more berries here, and you need to be like moved out of the nest too. I just realized that you're still sitting in the nest right here. Um, we'll move you over here, I think, and then you can go um, maybe a little bit closer, or maybe I should think about exploring. Like, I'm still, I need to uh, find some more food, guys. I definitely need to. Let's bring Adam out this way, then. Uh, no berries in any of those bushes, which is a little bit unfortunate, but oh no! <laughs> Our bunny duty spit snout lady unfortunately passed away. Oh gosh, I hope we find another spit snout in um, the grass here because I love that tree. It's so endearing. It's absolutely charming, just um, that little snaggle tooth to it. A lot of people have actually said that it reminds them of the hyenas in The Lion King, which I absolutely agree with. That is definitely um, very similar. Now let's see, there's some more rustling grass over here, but I'm a little bit worried that it might just be like a bunny. You know, we haven't run into a carnivore in a while either, which is also quite concerning. Um, I think you should probably move over here and um, breed with her before we run out of our chance. And unfortunately that made you starve. Oh gosh, good job, Jess. Um, so let's see, we'll pick up some more berries and a bunny, yes, okay. Um, how are we going to do this now? We definitely need another turn before we swipe the bunny, and I knew you were gonna move there, of course, where nobody can reach you. <laughs> of course you did that. Good survival instincts, you have to give the bunny that, and it has gone away now, wonderful. So we know it's in this grass somewhere over here, um, right there in fact, that's probably the bunny. But we have to uh, get over there before we can grab it. Um, it looks like this individual Rira cannot move very far. She has a little bit more trouble moving than um, some of the other creatures in her pack. So we'll move her right there so she could possibly... Well, actually, we should probably move her to the nest so she can have her baby, shouldn't we? We'll move someone else over here so they can be on um, bunny duty as well. So what sort of baby are you going to give us? Oh my gosh, it looks almost exactly like his father, actually. Just a little bit um, brighter with the red coat. And of course it has the antlers, all right. So we have something with um, a little bit more strength power than the father, which is excellent. Of course, the no paws right there, of course. What is this though, toxic body? Okay, so this is the gene that we can uh, unlock if we explore these swamp fields way out here, the toxic body. Oh, that is interesting, guys. Okay, so that's a recessive trait. So this guy, Kervanvan, <laughs> that's an adorable name, could possibly pass along the uh, toxic body to his future offspring, but he does not have it himself. He only has um, the normal body, so that's quite interesting. I am very interested to see what um, those things are going to be like. And the big nose, are all of our babies getting the big nose, actually? Um, not this one. Some of them are, though. Some of them are. These guys have um, the big nose trait, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so that's definitely working, and we do have those lovely antlers on this guy, so the mutation board is alive and well. We'll pick some berries with Eve and um, her daughter as well can help pick the berries. I think we might need to uh, breed with these guys one more time before we lose our chance. Hmm, I think that might be a good idea. So we'll move him up here to breed with Eve and then unfortunately we need to wait yet another day before they can move into the nest. Um, we are definitely struggling by with food again, which is definitely not what I wanted to happen <laughs> in this new pack. But at least it was raining. At least we have gotten a few uh, different bouts of rain here, so we don't have to worry about another huge drought that um, the previous pack had. I am going to say, just for the sake of closure, that Animium's pack probably did end up just succumbing to the drought, and they probably all starved off after a while, so just for the sake of um, having some sort of closure on that. And we have another one, I swear, they have like triplets now. They all look so similar with those big uh, noses there and the dark eyes. I think they all have black eyes, in fact, don't they? Yeah, they do, every single one of them has black eyes, but they all also carry the poison fangs, which I like to see. Um, I definitely want to find a way to continue that later down the line. And that bunny right there needs to go, guys. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad though. Rhoda, you're going to uh, starve if I slice this guy. I really need to place him just on the uh, on the burrow there. So we'll gather up some food. Yep, I knew you were gonna do that, little bunny. I knew you were gonna do that. Okay, so we're gonna place him right on the burrow now, so we shouldn't have to worry about the bunnies uh, skipping away before we can grab them. 
Um, there's a lot of rustling grass around here though. Oh gosh, guys, <laughs> this is a bit worrying. In fact, we might investigate that in a future episode because it looks like there is a lot of rustling grass around here and if any of them are carnivores, we're gonna be in a little bit of trouble. Hopefully we'll find another spit snout in one of these though. Are there like four of them right now? Oh my gosh, okay, so I'm sure this area is probably bunnies. But this one is a bit concerning, as is this one. So Adam, you are definitely going to have to do some investigating next time we uh, do this game here. So like I said, I'm going to try to bring this to you guys twice a week now instead of once, and I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope you're not too disappointed about the previous pack being wiped away too. Unfortunately, I had no control over that, so we're just gonna keep trucking along. I'm sure there's some silver lining in this. Like we get to play with these guys again, Adam and Eve, and everything is going to be just a little bit different now with all of the new genes that we're bringing into our pack so I think it's still going to be quite a bit of fun I still love niche and it's so great to see how just enthusiastic you guys are about this game and it's just the best thing because niche is such a great game and it's coming out in just a few days now pretty soon it's going to be available for early access so you can all purchase it um the giveaway of course is ending on wednesday september 14th which is the day before it comes out so definitely check your youtube inboxes on that day just to see if you happen to win but apart from that guys thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye guys